here is uh, my video H2 Blue demonstration of the Echo H2 tablets. Now, similar to the Alcadiva tablets, they are long expired. You can see they were manufactured May 2015, making them six years old now. Um, this means that uh, without stability data, they're legally expired like four years ago. Um, so we'll see how they hold up. Um, I'm going to test again in a sealed bottle and also in, you know, a glass of water. Again, I'm getting a convex meniscus here. Um, let's actually just see that's a little bit low. So convex meniscus here. Now, the Echo H2 directions say the same thing. Wait five to 20 minutes. So it's, again, it's a sealed bottle. These are still being sold widely. We're at a minute. 30 seconds. Now, notice these ones, they're quite small, but they're round. So these are definitely a different manufacturing run. They were done about a year after the Alcaviva tablet. So it's been about a minute and a half. These ones are reacting a lot less vigorously actually than, uh, than the previous Alcaviva ones, despite being uh, apparently newer and updated formulation. Like with the Alcaviva tablet, I will be sending these off for lab analysis as well. So it's been about two and a half minutes and the tablet is still at the bottom reacting quite slowly. Same thing with this one. Still at the bottom reacting quite slowly. This is actually interesting. Uh, 
drops of water landed on this and it's not even reacting. <laughs> so this has such a thick layer of magnesium oxide on it that when splashes of water land directly on the tablet, um, it's not, <laughs> it's not reacting with the surface. So we're approaching four minutes here. Still quite a large tablet at the bottom. It's hard to see in this glass, but um, interesting. The bottle. Nope. No, nope, you can see the tablet there at the bottom. So we're actually at five minutes now and they aren't even done reacting. So we're gonna have to go over the five minutes because the tablets aren't even dissolved. Still, you can see that trickle going, still slowly reacting, so I don't want to test it as the tablet isn't finished. Same thing, this one, you can see is slowly reacting. It's been six minutes now. Okay, a little over six minutes. The one on the open cup just finished. Okay. It's actually a generous pour. That's a little bit more than six milliliters. So it three drops. Is it going to go to five? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. So somewhere between 0.3 and 0.5 ppm. So that's interesting. Um, I can say though that uh, the Alcaviva tablet might have given a false couple of drops because there was a lot of tablet residue floating around that could have directly reacted. The Echo tablet reacts a lot cleaner, so this is more of a true hydrogen. Got 
but like like in the open cup it's no better in a bottle it just got somewhere between three point zero point three and zero point five parts per million so neither of these tests would qualify it for the minimum observed you know therapeutic concentration by the ihsa and again these are years past expiring